Hello, hello everybody. Um, today I finally took the plunge and I told my friends and family that I had started a YouTube beauty channel. And um, first of all, I want to say that I am by no means a beauty expert and I am not I don't need to tell you that I am not drop-dead gorgeous. You can see me, you know, I am just an ordinary person. Um, but I am turning um, 49 in December and I still feel young, you know, I still feel my creative juices running. Um, I don't feel old and decrepit, although maybe some 20 something some little kids or teenagers or maybe 30 somethings think I'm old and decrepit, but I still feel young. And so um, what made me start a beauty channel? Um, the reason, the way it started was um, last year, my cousin Deborah was getting married and I felt that the techniques that, my, that I had been using, uh, which was from 10, 15 years ago, were just old and outdated and I just wanted to change. And before, I would only go to YouTube to, to be guided as to you know how to fix my refrigerator how to change my locks and stuff like that household stuff and then i thought that maybe someone there would be who would have monolids uh, would be able to teach me um, new techniques and ideas on how to do my eyes and so the first video that i had ever seen on monolids was from head to toe and the lady from head to toe is very beautiful she's a korean girl and she also has monolids and so i watched her videos and i tried her techniques um, but I felt that my eye type was different from hers, so what would look good with her eyes, although she is a monolid, would not look good with my eyes. And so I just kept going and going and watching other videos, experimenting, until I finally found uh, a technique or a slew of techniques that would be more suitable for my eye type. And you know um, that it's very hard to apply makeup on monolids. And I think that my eye type, my, my monolid eye type, because there are many different kinds of monolids, um, is especially, my eye type is especially difficult because I have droopy eyes and my eye tail here is droopy. I have a droopy crease. It goes like this and then just drops down like that. I have droopy eyebrows and they arch in the wrong spot. I have droopy lips and the only thing that's not droopy um, is probably my nose and my ears and I love my ears and I love my nose um, because they're they're small and they're not droopy so after um, after months of watching the other YouTube videos, I realized that I had something to say, you know, maybe there's some person out there who has the same type of monolith uh, that I have that uh, would want to, to get new ideas maybe on how to apply makeup. And um, maybe there's somebody out there who's always used the same type of colors, the same monotone or same um, nude color or, or earth tone color makeup who would want to see someone use color. And as you can see today, I'm using yellow and green. See? Um, but, you know, maybe someone out there wants to see someone use a different color rather than, you know, the old, the same old browns, uh, grays, and taupes. And so that's why I decided to do it. I'm an artist, I love color, I love art. And so I wanted to share my love of makeup with everybody, with you all. So years ago, um, a friend asked me, you know, she said, how come my lipstick was different every day? And I don't have a gazillion lipsticks. I don't have a lipstick for every day of the year. Um, it's more of me combining this lipstick with that lipstick or maybe using a different lip pencil with a certain lipstick or to create a different effect. That would make the change and that would make it look different. And so, um, you know, color and creativity and change has always been a part of my life. And so I wanted to share that with you. And you know, it's not always, for this channel, it's not always me um, sharing my ideas with you. Um, you can, you know, share your ideas with me. Like for example, I have this, these scars here, these acne scars, and I have tried many different um, products to try and cover them. Usually in the morning, 
uh, they're kind of covered, but by the end of the day, they they look more visible. And so if, if you have an idea or suggestion or a product that could help me also, you know, cover these things, <laughs> please feel free to comment. If you have any comments or ideas as to how to for, uh, how I can um, improve my videos, please feel free to to email uh, not to email to uh, send me a message or to comment. Um, and if you have any ideas, maybe if you have an idea as to how, you know, to do this type of a monolid, please feel free and I really welcome and um, appreciate your advice. And so I hope you'll, you'll enjoy watching my channel and I hope to see you soon. Bye!